Welcome back guys, we're back in with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to create a flat world um, or an amplified world or just a normal world again on your Minecraft server. So when you first purchase your server, you're going to be given a default world. So everything's going to be generated on there. It's not going to be flat. It's going to be like a normal generated world. And I do believe on Seekerhost, it's going to be a Java one to start with. Of course, if you do want Bedrock, you can just change that over using the server jar straight down here. So you can't change your initial world however what you can do is you can just create a brand new world um, and you can delete the old one if you want so at the moment the world that i have is called spawn world however if i change the name of that and change the settings and then i restart the server it's going to start a brand new world so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to stop the server right now once your server is completely stopped we're just going to head over to files config files and then we're going to come to server settings once on this page you're just going to come down to level type and as you can see we start with a standard world here you can choose whether you want the flat world which we're going to be using as an example today you can also have large biomes amplified height limit and you can have a customized one as well however we're going to be changing it to a flat world let's say you want to create a mini game world so we're going to leave that as flat world, come down here and press save. Now let's head back to the main page and we won't be starting the server yet. What we're going to do is we're actually going to change the world here. So let's say we're going to change this to new one. And once we've changed the world name and hit save, it's going to be opening a brand new world. Don't worry, you haven't lost your last world. If you want to open it back up, simply change the name in the world back to what it was before. Um, hit save, restart, and then it'll just open up the new or the old world, shall I say. All it is is a way of finding each file name. So when you put the file name of the world in the world, that's what it will find when you restart your server. Now as that's starting back up, I'm just going to open up Minecraft as well and we should be able to log on and find that it is a flat world now. So as we can see that is now loaded up and we're just going to join that test server now and we should be put into a flat world now if all has gone successfully. So we've spawned in and we are in a completely flat world and we are completely surrounded by slimes as per usual however you have now got it ready and you can start changing around your server settings and building your awesome mini games on it. If you did ever want to change this back, you just do the same process, however you change it from a flat world back to a normal world. So again, it's files, configuration files, server settings, and on there you're going to come down to the level type. Um, and obviously now it's on flat, however if you wanted to change it back to a standard world, it's the same process. You're just going to click that, you're going to hit save, and then you're going to restart your server with a different name, because otherwise it might be trying to overwrite the same world file. So thanks for watching guys, any more videos like this don't forget to check out the Seekerhost knowledge base and tutorials page, lots of helpful videos on there to help you along with your server. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time, bye bye.